User-defined functions are similar to what's available in general purpose programming languages. UDFs provide a level of flexibility and reusability that would be impossible to duplicate by using only stored procedures, triggers, and views. These functions, like those in other programming languages, provide reusable code modules that you can invoke with parameters, perform some kind of calculations or actions, and return various kinds of data. You'll learn about the three kinds of UDFs available in the SQL Server, and you'll see several examples of functions and how to use them. We'll start by looking at scalar functions that return a single value. Then we'll explore the two types of table-valued functions. These latter functions let you return a table data type that acts like an in-memory table. Once you understand how to create functions, you'll realize that now you have almost too many options for writing code views, stored procedures, the different kinds of functions, and others. So we'll discuss how to decide which kind of code module to use in different situations, as well as some potential performance issues with using functions.